Hey guys, so I got requested to continue my five ways to make series. So today I'm going to be showing you how to, I'm going to show you five ways to make Reborn Baby Mohair Conditioner. Um, now this is for mohair, but you can also use it on any other type of doll hair. Like American Girl doll hair, you can use it on probably plastic hair, but I would not recommend using it on your own hair because it will like make it frizzy but for dolls it will work so this is method number one for method number one you're going to need baby shampoo I would recommend tear free just because the tear free shampoos usually have less chemicals in them and when they have more chemicals it might make your baby's hair crusty so um, you don't have to use tear free but I would recommend it so baby shampoo and then you're going to need water so I have my water right here and um, You'll need probably a spritz bottle, but if you don't have that, it's okay. I have a spritz bottle, so I'm going to go ahead and get that. So here's my spritz bottle. So first you're going to take it and you're going to fill it up maybe about halfway with water. Then you're going to put, um, I would say, one to two pumps of baby shampoo into the water. Then you're going to close the lid and shake it up really well. And at first it's going to frizz to the top like this. But you're just going to start patting it like this and turning it over. And after about 30 seconds to 2 minutes, it will be settled. And then you can spritz it on your baby's hair. Um, and you don't have to wash it out or anything. But if you feel like there's too much soap in it, you can um, dump some of it out and then um, just put less in next time. Um, I, don't, I don't usually use my hair conditioner for my babies, so I'm probably just going to dump this stuff out. But um, I will show you how it goes on to your reborn's hair. So I'm going to demonstrate method number one on my little doll Holly's hair. So this is what it will make your hair, your baby's hair look like. And it um, will smell like whatever shampoo it is. So hers smells like lavender. And um, since it's mixed with water, you don't really need to wash it out. But after a while, you, it might get a little crusty. But um, I would not recommend applying this every day to your reborn's hair. Um, but maybe like once every three days you could apply it. And it will stay nice and it will... This will prevent your their hair from getting frizzy, and it will prevent it from falling out. So for method number two, you only need two things, well, three things. You need a spray bottle again. I just washed mine out for method number one. You're going to need regular hair shampoo. I would recommend for dry, damaged, or fragile hair shampoo, and make sure it's gentle, because and it's color safe, too, because if you're, if you're, um, baby has dyed hair like if the mohair is dyed it will some shampoos could take the color out of their hair so mine is color safe and it's moisturizing for dry damage or fragile hair and it's gentle so this would be a good shampoo to use and you'll just need some regular detangler spray it can be any type um, all detangling spray is mainly the same so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add detangler up to about like right here then you're going to add just one little tiny squirt of shampoo. Then you're going to pour water until it gets like all the way, like until it fills like half of the bottle. So when you shake it up after I put water in it, this is how it looks. Um, this is my personal favorite method because the other methods I find after time, um, they will mold or they will make your doll's hair a little sticky. So I recommend this one the best. But so I'm going to test out this one now f to show you guys how it works. So we're going to be testing method number two on Maddie. I'm going to demonstrate it. So this is how it looks in the hair. Um, it makes it really soft and it takes out like the frizziness. So yeah. So for mes method number three, um, you'll need obviously a spray bottle. You'll need some just regular mousse. Um, now my mousse is probably not the best to use because this has a fragrance. I would recommend to use non-fragrant mousse because it has less chemicals and mine is also flexible which means it will make the hair um, crusty if you don't if you put too much so I would recommend to not use this kind of mousse but this is the only mousse I have and you just need water so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna fill up your thing just to the very little bottom with mousse so this is what that looks like oops I almost spilled that <laughs> I was I got lucky there. I did not spill it. Okay. And then you're going to fill it up to like about halfway with water. So then you shake it up 
and after you shake it, it should look like this. Personally, I like this method, but if you add too much mousse, it can go way wrong, and it can almost ruin your doll's hair. So I would only recommend this for dolls with um, a lot of hair. So I'm going to go ahead and test it now. So we're going to test method number three on Catherine. Um, so I'm just going to spray this a little bit because she already has some product in her hair. So as you can see, it made her hair really puffy. So it will kind of make your doll's hair like expand. So that's that. All right, so method number four is one of my favorites. Um, you'll obviously need a spray bottle, you'll need water, and you'll need conditioner for like regular hair. And um, so you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill it up to water, with water about halfway, and then you're gonna add one pump of conditioner and shake it up. So then it should look like this. Um, it's similar to method one, but it's a little different because it does different things for your baby's hair. This will make your baby's hair straight. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and test it out for you guys. I'm gonna test this on Victor. So it works really nice and his hair is pretty straight after that. Okay, so this is method number five and the last method I'm gonna teach you today course the spray bottle you're gonna need water um, you're gonna need hair gel and shampoo you can use baby shampoo if you want but I'm just gonna use regular shampoo because I want to preserve my baby shampoo so I'm gonna you're first gonna fill up the um, to like about like right here with hair gel and then you're gonna put it up to the halfway mark with water and then add one to two pumps of shampoo so that's what it looks like with all three ingredients mixed up this personally is not one of my favorites because it will make your baby's hair sticky if you use too much. You only need one to two spritz on the whole baby's hair. So I'm going to try this with Erica's hair. So here it is. It basically makes it flat and it makes it stick to the head more. So it'll be good if you have like baby with just a little bit of hair. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed those five ways to make mohair conditioner for your reborn baby. And I hope you try at least one of the methods and leave, me, leave it in the comments and tell me how you think and how it worked for you. And if, it's, if um, there's a certain way that you like to make your mohair conditioner or whatever you want to say. Thank you guys for watching and request more five ways to make reborn videos. Bye!